Benzene, 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 the scary old new contaminant. As a toxicologist, hear why you shouldn't be concerned. By now, we have all heard about the dry shampoo contamination with benzene, but here are some facts that will ease your mind, hopefully. So, benzene in itself is not that toxic or cancer-causing, but when it enters your body, the body tries its best to kick it out as fast as possible because your body hates foreign compounds. Your body does that by metabolizing it which mean adjusting the benzene structure to be easier to eliminate from your body. Unfortunately, our bodies have so many enzymes and each enzyme can do few adjustments, but sometimes those adjustments turn benzene into a true cancer-causing compound. In a way, your body mistakenly worked against you. Here is what happens when benzene enters your body. It has two options. First, the detoxification pathway where your body glues other compounds to the benzene so it becomes easier to eliminate. Or the toxicity pathway where your body try to break up benzene but unfortunately produce something more toxic. Benzene is a unique compound because it has what is called dose-specific metabolism, which means depending on how much you were exposed to, one of the pathway, the detoxification or the toxicity, can be more favorable. Some data suggests that if you are exposed to relatively high dose, the detoxification pathway is more favorable, the case with dry shampoo contamination, while getting exposed to low dose, the toxicity pathway is more favorable. So in a nutshell, living in a city should be scarier than a spray can.